जियो बाइट हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जियो बाइट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट एक्सरसाइज 2.6 पॉइंट सिक्स प्रॉब्लम टूडे लेटर सॉल्व रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ए टू व्हीलर कवर्स ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर्स इन वन लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट कवर इन टेन लीटर्स ऑफ पेट्रोल फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन दैट डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई टू व्हीलर इन वन लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल इज फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर्स डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय टू व्हीलर इन वन लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर्स देन वी नीड टू फाइंड द हाउ मच डिस्टेंस विल इट कवर इन टेन लीटर्स ऑफ पेट्रोल डिस्टेंस covered by two wheeler in 10 liters of petrol which is equals to so 10 into so the distance covered by two wheeler in 1 liter of petrol is 55.3 kilometers so we need to calculate the distance which is covered by the two wheeler in 10 liters of petrol is 10 into 55.3 kilometers in the previous video we discussed about multiplication of decimal number by using 10 so whenever we are multiplying a decimal number by 10 the decimal point will be shifted towards right by one position so if you are multiplying 10 into 55.3 then we will be getting 553 kilometers therefore two wheeler covers distance in 10 liter of petrol is 553 kilometers if a two wheeler covers a distance of 55.3 kilometers in 1 liter of petrol then uh, two wheeler covers a distance in 10 liters of petrol is 553 kilometers find first one two point five into zero point three so we need to perform the multiplication of two decimal numbers so here first uh, step is we need to uh, remove the decimal point if we remove the decimal point then we will be getting 25 into 3 so 25 into 3 is nothing but 75 and there are two digits right to the decimal points in 2.5 and 0.3 means here in 2.5 after the decimal point we are having one digit and here in second number also 0.3 we are having one digit after the decimal point so total there are two digits so 
what we need to do is so we need to traverse from right to left then we need after two digits we need to place the decimal point thus 2.5 into 0.3 is equals to 0.75 so why we are placing dot before the 7 means like here we are having in 2.5 we are having one decimal point after the decimal point we are having one digit in 0.3 we are having one more digit after the decimal point so there are two dates so we need to move from right to left by two positions or we can say that two places then we need to place the decimal point next second one Zero point one into fifty one point seven. Now we need to remove the decimal point. So if we remove the decimal point, then we'll be getting one into five one seven five hundred and seventeen. If we multiply, then we'll be getting the result as five one seven. So there are two digits right to the decimal places in zero point one and fifty one point seven. So, 0.1 into 51.7 is equals to 5.17. So, why 5.17? Because so in 0.1 we are having one digit after the decimal point. In 51.7 after the decimal point we are having one digit. So, in 5.17, 517, we need to move from right to left. After the two places, we need to place the decimal point. So the first place is seven. The second place is one. So after one, we need to place the decimal. So that's why we are placing. So after five, before one, we are placing the decimal point. So that's why we are getting five point one seven. Next, third one, zero point two into three one six. Point eight. From the both the decimal numbers, we need to remove the decimal point. So if we remove the decimal point, then we are getting two into three thousand one sixty eight. So if we multiply both, then we will be getting six thousand three hundred and thirty six. And there are two digits right to the decimal points in zero point two and. Three one six point eight. So what we need to do is zero point two into three one six point eight is equals to in zero point two after the decimal point we are having one digit that is two in three one six point eight after the decimal point we are having one digit that is eight. So we are having total we are having two digits. So in six thousand three thirty six we need to move from right to left. By two places, then we need to place the decimal. So six is the first place, and second place is three. So after the three, we need to place the decimal point. So we'll be getting sixty-three point three six. So the result of zero point two into three one six point eight is sixty-three point three six. Next fourth one. One point three into three point one. So first step is we need to remove the decimal point. So if we remove the decimal point, then we will be getting 13 into 31, which is equals to 403. There are two digits right to the decimal points in 1.3 and 3.1. So in 1.3, after the decimal point, we are having one digit that is three. In 3.1, after the decimal point, we are having one digit that is one. So total we are having two digits. So in four not three, we need to move from right to left by two places, and we need to place the dot. That is nothing but decimal point. So if we place the decimal point, then we will be getting four point zero three. So the result of one point three into three point one is four point zero three. Next fifth one. Zero point five. Into zero point zero five. First step is we need to remove the decimal point. So if we remove the decimal point, then we will be getting five into five. 
which is nothing but 25. So there are three digits right to the decimal points in 0 0.5 and 0 0.05. So in first number 0 0.5, after the decimal point we are having one digit that is 5. In second number, after the decimal point, we are having two digits, those are 0, 5. So total we are having three digits. So in 25, what we need to do is we need to move from right to left by three positions. After that, we need to place the decimal point. So 0 0.5 into 0 0.05 is equals to 0 0.025. So why we are getting 0 0.025 because so whenever we are multiplying 5 into 5 we are getting 25 so in, tw in 25 we need to move from right to left by three positions so whenever we are moving the three positions then first position is 5 second position is 3 after that there is no digit so we need to place the 0 after the 0 we need to place the dot so that's why we are getting 0 0.025 next sixth one 11.2 into 0 0.15 if we remove the decimal point from the given decimal numbers then we'll be getting 112 into 15 which is equals to if you multiply both we will be getting 1680 so there are three digits right to the decimal points in 11.2 and 0 0.15 so in 11.2 after the decimal point we are having one digit that is 2 in 0 0.15 after the decimal point we are having two digits those are 1 and 5 so total we are having three digits after the decimal point so in 1680 we need to move from right to left by three positions and we need to place the decimal point so if you place after the three digits we are placing the decimal point then we will be getting 1.680 so the result of 11.2 into 0.15 is equals to 1.680 next seventh one 1.5 0 0.07 into 0 0.02 so if we remove the decimal point from the given decimal numbers then we'll be getting 107 into 2 which is equals to 214 214 so there are uh, four digits right to the decimal points in 1.07 and 0.02 first decimal number after the decimal point we are having two digits 0 7 in second number after the decimal point we are having two decimal points 0 2 total we are having four digits so in 214 we need to move from right to left by four positions after that we need to place the decimal so first position is four second position is one third position is two after that we need to place the zero so after the zero we need to place the decimal point so the result of 1.07 into 0 0.02 is equals to 0 0.0214 eighth one 10 point zero five into 1.05 if we remove the decimal point from the given decimal numbers we will be getting 1005 into 105 so if we multiply both the numbers then we'll be getting 1 lakh 5525 so there are four digits right to the decimal places in 10.05 and 1.05 means in first decimal number after the decimal point we are having two digits that are 0 5 in second number after the decimal point we are having two digits 0 5 so total we are having four digits after the decimal point so in 1 lakh 5525 we need to move from right to left by four position the four places 
the first place is 5 second place is 2 second third place is 5 next fourth place is 5 so if you multiply 10.05 into 1.05 then we'll be getting 10.5525 so the result of 10.05 into 1.05 is 10.5525 next ninth one 101.01 into 0 0.01 so if we remove the decimal point from the given decimal numbers then we'll be getting 10101 into 1 that is 10101 into 1 which is equals to we'll be getting 10,101. So there are four digits right to the decimal places in 101.01 and 0 0.01. So in 101.01, after the decimal point, we are having two digits, 0 and 1. In second number, after the decimal point, we are having two digits, 0 and 1. Total, we are having four digits. So in 10,101, we need to move from right to left by four places. That is First place is 1, second place is 0, third place is 1, fourth place is 0. After the 0, we need to place the decimal point. So the result of 101.01 into 0 0.01 is 1.0101. Next, tenth one. 100.01 into 1.1. So if we remove the decimal point from the given decimal numbers, then we'll be getting 10,001 into 11, which is equals to 1,10,011. So if you multiply both the numbers, then we'll be getting 1,10,011. That is 110011. There are three digits right to the decimal points in 100.01 and 1.1 in first decimal number after the decimal point we are having two digits 0 1 in second number after the decimal point we are having one digit so total we are having three digits so if you are having three digits in 1,10,011 we need to move from right to left by three positions means three places first place second place third place so we will be getting 110.011 so 100.01 into 1.1 is equals to 110.011 so the result of 100.01 into 1.1 is 110.011 the remaining topics will be covered in the next video thank you for watching Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.